you know, I'm starting to think maybe the box needs a little more attention. Like maybe it needs that motor. The Cuddy would probably be fine with the box motor in it the way it is now. You, if the motor out of the box right. was in the Cutlass making the same power, that's because that's more of a cruiser, right? But we're starting to see people take the boxes and make them quicker. What about putting the good stuff in the box and taking the stuff off the box and putting it in the Cuddy? That's, that's what I would do. Listen, T-Rex is how you are known. Right. Okay? That's how everybody knows that car. You know, moving directions and putting more time and money into the Cuddy, like it's cool and all, but that's not like what you're known for. Right, right. No, it's not on all eight cylinders, 100%. Right. It's missing on like at least two, I think it's on six. So what does that mean? It could be anything. It could be compression, it could be something with the motor, or it could be the stupid spider injection, which I absolutely can't stand working with. Nigga, I'm on fire right now. Turned out why would I put up back to breaking everything down? I'm on my full I pull a Remy at a red light, Patron at a fight night. Two my chick, them both told her, don't let them leave your eyesight. Me mugging don't mean nothing. Took no tail, I don't care who there. Make one call, that's all the niggas a fall with sticks and send me some through there. If that paper right, I'll be there. If it's slight, you won't see me there. It's bang a ball one time for nail boy bang. You supposed to be here. Cuban link. Motor no sticking up out there, Jen, don't you? We don't see thirties all that often anymore. Where oh he got that. Ooh. Everybody acting crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's why you hey, said I gotta line. you gotta get your blower on. <laughs> I'm taking my time, John, bro. All right, all right. You know when I put that blower on, it's over with for the streets, bro. You know, John, I'm be okay. talking so on much. The, on the Cuddy? On all my cars, the Chevy and the Cutlass. I'm, I got two motors I'm going to have you to do. You know, I'm starting to think maybe the box needs a little more attention. Like, maybe it needs something. Like, maybe it needs that motor. You think so? Like, the Cuddy's... But I was going to get the same motor, though, for right. it. Well, but here's the thing. The Cuddy would probably be fine with the box motor in it the way it is now. Right? Wouldn't that be nice? If the motor out of the box right. was in the Cutlass making the same power, that's because that's more of a cruiser, right? But we're starting to see people take the boxes and make them quicker. What about putting the good stuff in the box and taking the stuff off the box and putting it in the Cuddy? That what you think? That's, that's what I would do. Because the drop top is the cruiser. It's kind of. But yeah, kind of. That's the cruiser. That's not the, like, you could actually, like, make some real power with the box. Right. Because you got Playboy, you got right. Bag, you got all these guys making 900,000 horse. Power. Right. And just swap the motor out and dress it up. Because the Cuddy, if it was making the power the box is making now, it'd still be a blast to drive. Right. I want to think about that. I got, I got, I got two things I got to do before I even make that decision. Well, yeah, the, the box needs some love. The interior needs to get done. Which I'm finna go there. I, so I'm finna take it now to, to Big Lou, and Big Lou is finna finish the lift because of the rubbing, and I'm gonna shoot it to PC. He's gonna go over it, and he's gonna go over it. And he's gonna do redo the, all the chrome, right? Then I go to Nick. He's finna finish the interior, and then I'm gonna make the decision about the motor. You know what I mean? But I just feel like, honestly, from me to you, what I just told you over there is about content. Mm -hmm. Th that's more important right now because of what but I'm about to do. It's still content. Taking the, the box apart, moving but everything to the cutting. I did the math. I did the math on it. And then you've got this blower. Well, you got the 2.9, not the 2.0. I got a 3.0. Oh, it's a 3.0? Yeah. Yeah, so it's this one. Yeah. So I did the math. It's still 18,000, John. That's with the vintage air to get that motor put in yeah so i me to you the the tahoe outside that's that's what it costs for the painted rims right now okay so i'm i'm right there with you that's all i'm saying is I, well here's the problem i have an affinity for box Chevys. i really really like box Chevys more than kind of anything else right so I would rather work on those and make those like the primary car of anybody because I, I really like, I really like bags. I really like Playboys. Like they, you know, the high power boxes, especially two doors, are so cool. Right. You know what I mean? And they're right. coming up and, 
you've, dude, you've got the new wheels on there and the short and rear end, and like it's kind of moving that direction where. It I, could... I, which I'm about to do it. I just wanted to finish this two months first. I still That's got, fine. I still All got fourth quarter. I feel like the nice motor and the blower setup would be. But this is the thing. When I bring the car to you, I'm going to take it off the frame. I'm going to undercoat everything peanut butter and gold under the bottom. Lou going to take, they're going to take a week. Lou going to take a, two days to take On it off. Yeah. I'm going to oh. do it. I'm gonna, that's, what I'm, that's, that's the plan. The plan is after my car show, August, August 31st, September 1st. Then, as soon as the show over, I'm going to take it to Lou, let him take it off the frame. Right? And when they take it off, we got to take the motor out, right? So when I take it off the frame, take the motor out, I'm going to powder coat everything. My barrel, back barrels, the whole body, everything, right? And then no motor in it. Bring it to you. And then we're going to drop the motor in, in, what's that, September. Okay. This is my, my show is September 1st. Soon as the show over, I'm coming up right off the frame. Okay. And I was going to do it. And I was, that's when I was going to put the motor in, both of them, because I want to have both of them ready for fourth quarter. Well, you got lots of time to think about it. Well, there's nothing to think about. I'm just telling you my plan so you can put me in the I, schedule for September and October. I want both I want both drop. I want the motor dropped in the Chevy. Well, the Chevy, like, so is Big Lou going to take the motor out the Chevy? Well, I don't know who's going to take it out. I don't think Big Lou going to do that, do they? Yeah, they could. I, I pay you. I don't care. I'll pay you so, whatever. Oh, I'm just, I'm more of a box Chevy guy. You, that, listen, T-Rex is how you are known. Right. Okay. That's how everybody knows that car. For sure. So, you know, moving directions and putting more time and money into the Cuddy, like it's cool and all, but that's not like what you're known for. Right. Right. So, I, like, look, look at it this way. I got a couple of like YouTubers I watch that do like computer builds because I'm a, kind of a nerd in that like I do like custom right. PCs and shit. One of them, his name is Jay Stewsons, and he has like a chassis, a computer chassis that he has had since he started YouTube eight years ago, nine years ago. And that took him off. And every other year, he just puts a new build into that chassis. Right. And then he stopped for a little bit, and then basically like built some other PCs and then he's like, you know, I just I kind of miss doing what I'm known for. Right. Brought it back out of mothballs, did a whole new build in it. Everybody loved it. Like it's what he's known for. That chassis, it's this really huge computer chassis. Right. Um, he's known for it. So he just keeps using that. You're known for the, the box, box. Right. So it's only right. You've got good stuff in the box that could easily go in the cutlass, clean up. It, it would still be supercharged. The computer harness, the computer, everything can go right in the cutlass. It'll run exactly how the box does. Even better because it's a smaller car with smaller rims. I'm cool with it. I just want to wait until. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's I'm my opinion. Well, look, I, I was already out. Me and Bag talk, and he 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 already was telling me like, man, the box is over at John's right now. Come on, bro, let us just take the motor. I talked to John. I'm like, nah, because I want to. I want to finish the plan, which is going eventually. Well, if you're doing a frame off, that has to happen before it comes out. Right, for sure. Because there's no point in us doing our work and then everything coming back. No, up. for sure, for sure. But that's why I say right after that, I'm going to take it to Lou. We're going to take it off the frame. I'm coming straight here. And then I'm going to leave the motor here, whatever, clean it up, whatever, whatever. And then I'm going to bring the colors right after. So September and October is when I want to drop. My birthday month is November, which is also fourth quarter. Well, you know I'm big on. Okay. You know I'm big on fourth quarter. Well, if you don't know, I, I love to drop in fourth quarter. You got Orlando Classics. You got uh, Indianapolis Classics. You got Nashville Classics. You know, the Southern Heritage. So I always kind of come out in fourth quarter, so I'm still pacing myself. But I wanted to kind of knock these little ones out because I, I was forced to get – because I wanted to build the white box. So I, hadn't, I needed the rims off of there. So I needed to set those rims. If I didn't, if I didn't have two, I wouldn't even have put them rims on yet. I was going to finish all them other cars. But I got that perfect now. I give it the PC. Take your time. Go down there. As soon as my car show over, it's coming straight to you. And what I was going to honestly do, what I was going to do was sell the Cutlass, the Chevy motor, and I was going to go get another one of these, and I was going to put two of these, one in the box and one in the Cutlass. That's what I was going to do. But it makes sense. Like you said, you could save some money. It's still your cruiser. You could put the LS3 Pro Charge in the, in the Cutlass, clean it up, because we can clean it up, right, and, and put the bigger the nice looking blue, whatever on there yeah you can fancy it up it's there you go. valve covers and some polished parts and right and then pulley kit too mm -hmm. and, and still have a nice motor because that ls3 runs bro yeah 
You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what we might do. That's what we're gonna do. September, I'm, I'm right after September, I'll, I'll go to Lou. We're gonna snatch nice it out. In the box, and we'll do that. Ball. And we'll do that. We're gonna. Do, I want. I gotta do the frame off. They changing the game. They painting the bellies and they acting crazy, John. So I gotta do that. And like I say, I was already gonna do that. I just wanted to finish them two cars. Yeah. And and after that, it's all, it's all to the, it's we'll all go to ahead. the good. No, go ahead, bro. You, you on the YouTube? Nah, I'm straight. I'll do that. Um, well, the, so it is just like a ground. It's a different style. So those ones, Everybody go with Whipple. Yeah, ground is small. That's phenomenal. I was in it. After I came Big to Whipple. Today. Is there a tour in there? That is beautiful yeah. under there, too. No, it's, it's over next. Billy Oh, No, y'all. Super nasty. And my boy right here. So everybody coming motors. I know I'm going to upgrade. I'm just waiting my time, everybody, man. Um, money limited. I got a lot of things going on on my channel right now. I got a lot of bills going on on my channel. Um, I got a plan, man. Like I say to y'all, I'm going city to city, state to state. And um, I, I, I'm giving different cars for my channel. I want to become a real, I don't want to just say I'm doing YouTube. I want to become a real content creator to where I'm paying my bills off of this, where I'm, um, you know what I mean? So I embrace the other people that's got their cars and stuff done before me too. Boy said nice on 30, then he gonna be running on that joker. That's over nasty too. So like I say, y'all, I'm just really setting myself up. I could have been with motor. I'm just really setting myself up right now to um basically um just be a, be a better YouTuber, man. And and like I said, the the motor, vice versa, four or five cars, it it does you know it don't it doesn't make me a better YouTuber. So that's just how I feel. Like I say, I'm with John. Everything he's saying, I was already on it already. It's just I'm, I'm just moving at a pace because I want to finish my other cars to where I got like I say I could tour different cities, different states, different cars, man. Book me, y'all, for the car show, and that's what I want to kind of get my names and my cars up to the point where you know people want to book me, bring this car, bring that car, because different cars are hotter in different states. So um, that's the plan, y'all. I'm just taking my time, like I told him, as soon as my car show over in September. I'm coming off the frame and I'm gonna put the motor in. That's September, I'm gonna hit my all month, 30 days to do my motor. And then in October, I'm gonna put the motor in the Cutlass. And I still have the rest of the fleet. And I have my two car trailer in October, right before the classics and stuff. So I, I'm, 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 I'm coming. So now that y'all understand what's going on, a lot of y'all see my vision. Well, a lot of y'all didn't, a lot of y'all did. Y'all see what I'm doing, I'm building the other cars too, so. The motor's coming. It's not even a question, bro. I, I promise you. I'm itching to put my motor. I had to learn patience, though. You got to move right. I got a plan. Like I say, my job is to become a better YouTuber. Overall, y'all, I want to be a YouTuber. I'm already a YouTuber, but I figure out ways day by day by day to become better at YouTuber, and that's get more cars. I'm looking at CJ. CJ got a fleet. He's raffling cars. Eventually, I want to start raffling cars. You know what I'm saying? Um... I'm just, I'm just pacing myself. I'm building my brand up right now. And to build my brand up to say you're a YouTuber, you gotta have something to record and content every day, different car, different show, whatever. You know what I mean? We don't take a lot of cars, but I want a variety of stuff, man. I wanna be that YouTuber where you love coming to my channel because this dude got all the cool cars. This dude going everywhere. Man, bring that car here, bring it. I wanna be that guy, so. Um, dumping all my money in my motor when I already got a, a decent motor for the meantime, I could build my brand up right now with that. And then I'll come back later, you know what I'm saying, once the money's coming in, so. That's my plan, y'all. John, John, I, I, don't, I don't really tell a lot of people my dreams, but I, I gotta do what I gotta do first. And that's just what it is, man. Hey, yo, man, I wanna say big shout out to R&D Performance. They are the first speed shop that I've dealt with. Um, they're the only speed shop that I've dealt with they have treated me good since the beginning. Um, John's solid, bro. I got nothing but good stuff to say about him. And you see, he he want to see it more than I want to see it. But unfortunately, I'm not sponsored by R&D. So I got to move at my pace, you know what I'm saying? But they they, they show me love on the prices. They give me good deals and stuff. And I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm here at R&D. Like I said, all the cars I've had, I've, I've the Rah Rah Talk started at R&D. 
when I put the pro, when I couldn't find nobody to get the pro charger put on right, I came to R and D, and when the pro charger got on there and installed right correctly, which was by John and R and D, that's when the Rai Rai Talk started. I once said, I say once again, I was the first big rim car at R and D performance. That's right. A lot of people came after me because they seen, you know, me out there with the little 600 horsepower, cutting up, acting crazy, and they wanted to come in with a bigger bag and stuff, which is cool. I don't. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, I'm really, I'm not a racer. I got enough to spin the ties, act the fool, do what I want to do right now. And at the end of the day, I can dance at the red light. And if I catch you slipping at the red light, I don't care if you got 1,500 horsepower, nigga, I'm going to get off, nigga, on my kids. You hear me? No matter what many horsepower nigga got, is you going to make it, <laughs> you going to drive it like me. You going to cut up like me. You going to get out. You going to make a scene like me. You going to, but, but I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm behind a little bit right now. Actually, I'm not behind. I'm actually up. Cause I'm ahead of the game. I'm a fifty some thousand subscribers on and uh, uh, forty some thousand subscribers on YouTube, fifty something on Instagram. I can bomb any day, but bombing any day ain't building my platform. You know what I'm saying? It's free game to everybody out there watching. That's not building my platform. That ain't content for every day of the week. You feel me? <laughs> it's free game, y'all. Putting y'all up on game. I studied this YouTube whole two years. I was gone. I went, I went to Texas and I studied how to become a better person. And I told myself when I get back in my drive, now I got CDLs, you feel me? I got the CDLs, I could pull cars, make money when I'm going to different states. I could tow y'all cars, it is, it's really all hidden. I'm setting my life up to basically be, I moved away to be better. Chicago's homeland for sure, but I moved to Texas to be a better overall youtuber i went and got the cdl i got the dually i'm finna get the trailer i'll be hauling for money i'll be making money on shows locking that fan base in i'm setting my, that's why i'm going with a lot of different cars because i'm a content creator i'm a dually driver the hauler whatever y'all hot shotter uh I'm, I'm i'm making money each and every way you get what i'm saying i got plenty cars it's it's it's, it's the vision is coming and next after all of this, what I'm telling you, all of the cars is done by the end of the year, I'll be looking for a property and the garage, like my boy Box Chevy King, to have my playhouse with all my toys, being able to work. I got my property, I can go do this. I got my property where I can go and do that. So that's the plan, y'all. But of course, you gotta walk it down. You gotta move at your own pace. Only I know what's best on times and things. And only know I know the vision. And like I say, I study my goals and I've been knocking them off the list and I'm steady walking them down. But I get it as I get closer, everybody's like, just bomb, just bomb. Nah, not yet, it's my time. Trust me, when I bomb, I'm, I'm telling you, hear me out. When I bomb, they're gonna wish I hadn't bombed. Cause it's like, this dude won't shut up. This dude won't. <laughs> Bro, it hit different when I get to popping it. I'm trying to, and I'm off, and I'm nigga finna have a shirt off, nigga all the jewels on, nigga Louis Bell, what up? Tatted, nigga. I'm going to get tatted. So when my body get right, nigga, I'm gonna be a sex symbol, nigga. What y'all talking about? I know what I'm doing, but it take time, even for my body. I'm like three months in right now with the gym. On June, what's this? This, this is July just ended. July, August. We in July right now. August 1st is when I go back and I get back on the scale. And like I said, I'm down on one X. So I got a plan, bro. And then when I do pop back out, I want to be nice. I don't want to be fat in my vert. I want to get out of my car looking good. Nice, tight, fitted clothes. You know, nice jewelry on me, chain on me. I want to be, I want to be together all around as far as businesses, YouTube, stand set up at my car show. All my followers and supporters can, can, can come up to me and greet me the right way. I want to just set myself up. And like I said, I want to be nice, man. I want to, you see my chest is coming together too. I want to, I want to be all right. You know what I mean? I want to be all around, bro. I want to, I want to, I don't want to just be heavy in one lane. I want to be all around. I want to be in a gym. I want to get, I'm, I'm in fitness. I'm in a lot of different stuff on my channel, bro. So, and it's, it's hard. I'm in a lot of lanes. Bike life, it's, it's tough, dually hauling. Car, well, what's up? I'm in the club. What's up? What, 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 what they gonna do with me? What they gonna do with me when it come together? You hear me, young millionaire in the making, nigga? Let's talk about it. You hear me? Let's speak it into existence, my nigga. But you gotta grind. 
And you gotta put some work in for some years, and you gonna have to learn by yourself, cause ain't a nigga, can't a nigga give you no game that they ain't never did, nigga. Yeah, a nigga can give you some game that he didn't did, but nigga, you know, <laughs> I'm in five lanes, my nigga. What nigga you know doing that? What, what, man, stop it. Who I'm gonna go to for game? Can't nobody tell me how to <laughs> put this together, cause I don't see nobody doing it. I don't see no nigga in five lanes. I don't see it. <laughs> nigga, look at me like I'm crazy. In five lanes, you don't need all that. You don't need all that, nigga. We're going to conquer all of them, nigga. We're going to do what Master P and Baby them did. Believe that. Believe that. You hear me? Yeah, so I want to drop this off to John, man. Let him get to it when he gets to it. Hey, come on, bro. You the only speed shop I know. To get the motor together, bro. Knock it off, John. Would you please? And thank you, sir. See, I want to get this seat right here, get the seat done, over, get a new carpet in here, get some new floor mats in here, dashboard wrap, wrap the dashboard back gray, and that's pretty much it. The headliner is good. I'll probably rewrap those. Uh, well, I'll probably can buy them visors. I don't even got to rewrap them, but that's pretty much it, man. I'm going to leave the truck OG, get this seat redone, and, 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 and wrap the dash over new carpet bro and we gonna that that's that's how we rocking bro real tall i got the handles and all that them doors will be cleaned up it's a five oh, seven it's a five seven so the fuel injectors and everything are like on the inside of the intake manifold but it so, runs already i know but see these two lines going in here yeah everything to do with the fuel injection is literally inside of the engine right and when anything goes wrong with it yeah it all has to be replaced as one big unit go ahead and fire it up let me hear it ah, i'm trying to get it to the paint shop bro but i don't want to take it to pc and then got to do this right afterwards You got a battery pack? I just bought this battery. I just changed this battery, literally, when I brought it up here. This haven't even been a week, though. That's the other crazy part about it. So you gotta change the whole spider. We gotta change the whole spider. The truck gotta run. John don't want to really work on this truck. Can't take it to PC running like this though, bro. No, sir. No, sir. Is that why the battery dying? That's what I was trying to tell you.
They got the new dashboard hooked up. And they got the new dashboard in it. Oh, okay. You don't have the stock dashboard anymore. No, and he he don't have the gas meter hooked up. Well, yeah, like the check engine light's not going to show up. What year is this thing? 97. This is gonna be hard, Chuck. Yeah. Because here's the thing: it's not running on all your cylinders. Right. So it's, and it's got. It looks like it's got brand new spark plugs, brand new wires. Right. Did you have that done, or you bought it that? No, nah, I bought it that way. He said he had to put it back in. Somebody knew. Like nobody would have put these are brand new, brand new spark plugs, brand new spark plug wires. Right. So somebody already knew it was not running on all eight cylinders and did a quick tune-up on it and it still ain't running on all eight so like the spider injection the fuel injection part of it is the next step like if that's not spraying then those cylinders aren't going to work all right um and it needs an alternator how much is those alternator for this probably 150 200 bucks something like that that's neither here nor there it ain't that ain't the problem no there's, it's not on all eight cylinders 100 right. it's missing on like at least two i think it's on six so what does that mean it could be anything it could be compression it could be something with the motor or it could be the stupid spider injection which i absolutely can't stand working and the dude at. just said he like man the motor good he like i'll vouch for the, the motor. motor sounds okay it doesn't sound like it's knocking or anything but we're not on all eight cylinders so this isn't a simple spark plug wires, cap rotor. This, there's something going on. And it needs an alternator. So the alternator is one thing. And then the fact that it's only running on six cylinders is a whole nother thing. So I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really have time to put something like this because this is gonna be diagnosis or something going on. Somebody already did the basics. Right. Somebody already did the basics. They knew that it wasn't running on all eight cylinders. They went ahead and did all the basic stuff that you would do to try and figure out why it's not running on all eight cylinders. Right. The next step would be diagnosing if we have spark at all, eight cylinders, and if we do, then it's gonna be this spider injection underneath this intake manifold, which that shit's expensive. For that spider thing? Yeah, cause like, you know how normally you have injectors on the outside of the engine mm -hmm. and fuel rails? Mm -hmm. You know, like in your car, you have eight injectors and they're outside and they have the plugs on them, right? Mm -hmm. This one doesn't. Everything is inside of the intake manifold everything so the the control box the injectors everything you can't buy on one of them like off a used motor then no nah, it's they're junk to begin with you wouldn't even want you know how much work it is to put one of those in you wouldn't want to put a used one in because what right. if that one doesn't work Base. i mean you could try and talk to this regular mechanic down here this uh, this is regular this ain't nothing performance wise i don't know who to go to this. well there's a this keyhole automotive right here he's just a regular shop you can talk to him you know, they're nice guys. I don't know if I can trust him. I mean, we're right here. So he can always report back to me mm. and I can make sure they stay on task. Either that or there's another automotive shop right over here on the corner that's in the old Coza building. This is really like, I don't have time to, to mess around with a regular car and diagnose this and everything else. I'd be willing to keep an eye on it. Like they can contact me but like we know you need an alternator and yeah, that that if it needs a spider injection like I, I don't have time to deal with that right now and how much do a spider injection cost shit on the v6s it's like six or seven hundred dollars i didn't even know that these v8s came with that i thought they all had regular fuel injection in here well you said it might not be there so there's cheap ones hundred dollars on amazon Summit's got one for 358 See, it's like this whole... I'm with you. It's this whole thing. And we, you would just get it from AutoZone or Riley's or something with a warranty. But see how that looks? Right. That's on the inside. Yeah. And that's, that's where all your injectors are. And what it costs usually for something like that to get replaced? Probably at least three or four hours of labor, I'd say. At What's least. That? I mean, most places are $150 plus dollars an hour. I'm 170 Dealers are like 200. Oh, that's my drive metal that car. Yeah, if it just needed like plugs and wires, that would have been no big deal. But somebody's already done that. Look, you can see like brand new, brand new. And I just went down and touched all of them. 
make sure they were all clicked on. I can hear listening to it. It's not on all eight cylinders. That's why it's running like it's a V8 with six cylinders working. So you've got eight injectors in there, and if two of them aren't working, mm. you're going to have six cylinders. Or something's going on in that cap back there, but... Diagnose it. Diagnose it. Can you at least diagnose it, charge me to diagnose it? Because if it's the spider injection, we're not going to know until it gets changed out. Right. Like, literally, it's going to be check the cap and rotor, make sure the spark plugs and wires are all in the right spot, and if they are, the next thing would probably be that. And if not, compression testing, making sure all eight cylinders actually have compression. All right. You said pull up to my man down here? Yeah, you just tell them like you're over here, you've got a Tahoe, and you know, let them listen to so it. I can't take this to the paint shop right now like this. I mean, you can, it still runs. But then as soon as I get it out of the paint shop, John. The problem is, I'll tell you right now, PCH that don't run, and he gotta put, you know, jump packs on it every time, at least it needs an alternator put on it. I need to fix it. I, I, don't, I don't, that's nigga stuff. I want, when my car get done being painted, I don't want everybody all under the hood and over it and doing this and doing that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. So that's why I'm finna just go down here to see what dude's talking about. Cause I'm probably dropping this off the PC today or tomorrow. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, this is not a one day fix, whatever's going on. Cause somebody already tried to fix it. That's why I, I as soon as I saw the brand new spark plugs and the wires and stuff, I'm like, right. somebody already tried to fix this. These look like they're all been just replaced. Look how clean they are. Oh yeah, they're Bosch's. They're just from like the parts store. So, so, and then over here, I can see they were already testing the ignition driver. Like the wires are all exposed over here. They were already looking at the coil and everything. But I know it's not the coil, because if it was a coil, we'd have no spark. We wouldn't even have six cylinders. So yeah, something going on. More right. don't sound bad, but. You never know, right? Definitely something going on. You only got six cylinders. And he's all two. That ain't no problem. I gonna get an alternator right now. I just, yeah. I need to, I need to go talk to him real quick and see if he want, what he want to do. I can throw an alternator on it today if that's what you want. I need that. So like we, the alternator, at least it'll charge a battery and stay running. I need that, so we could do that. That's cool. But like too. the, the not running right? Yeah, something's going on. It's gonna take some time to figure that out. Should I take the old alternator up there or no? Um, you can. There's gonna be a core. You can just return it later. Right. So let me go talk to your man too then so I can figure out. Yeah, because this is going right here. So that's good. Is this plugged in? Yeah, that's plugged in. Then dude threw the motor back in here too, John. Like he what took his mean? he had a six oh, he took the six oh out and just put this back in just to sell the truck. This doesn't look like it's been out. It looks all original. I'm just telling you what he told me. I called a dude on the phone. He got a big, he got a, he got a. You bought this around here or down south? I bought south? it in Oklahoma. He got a shop like yours out there in Oklahoma. He built in that box Chevys and stuff like that. Yeah, so, come on, think about it. Right. I figured it out in two seconds that it's not running on eight cylinders. You think he didn't know that already? Right. Body? Right. Are... That's my green box Chevy over there. Oh, nice. Next right. door. You seen it with the gold wheels? Oh, probably. Yeah. Yeah, real, real fast motor. Is I'm it LS in there? Yeah, LS3 with a Pro Charger. So this is the next build right here. This is the Tahoe. John just came out here real quick and put the uh, battery uh, charger on it. And he said that, uh, cause I got a brand new battery in it from O'Reilly's right now. And I just got a new one on there the day before, like last week and it died already. But John said it need an alternator, uh, which ain't no problem. I can get that. And he said it's running on, let me see if it's start up. He said it's running on six cylinders, but I'm gonna let you check it out. You tell me. If it start back up, start it back up. And hit the gas real quick for you. So I would like to try to get it right. I'm, I'm on my way to the paint shop, so I'm trying to get it right, man. Before I go there. Okay, that's fine, man. What we gotta do? I know it need an alternator, so I got to go get that before I leave. All right. And then John right here next door. Yeah. It's my partner. He said he'd keep an eye or check on or whatever. All right. Now here, I love whining, so that will probably be the power steering line leaking or something. I want to get that checked out, too. I want it right. All right. So... 
I'd like to try to see if we can work something out or whatever, or you gotta diagnose me and let me know something right quick, or, or whenever I drop it off with you, leave it with you. Yeah. Uh, John right here next door, he, you know. Yeah, let's go inside. We'll see what, uh, we'll take a look at the schedule. Okay. Yeah. Is there any way I can leave it? Sorry. So you gonna look at the schedule right quick? Yeah. Okay. So y'all, we finna talk business, man. I'll get back with y'all here shortly. All right, y'all, check it out, man. Um, so, John said he don't got time to look at it. It's just a lot of too time consuming, and plus it's not even what he usually work on. The guy next door didn't want to take it neither. So, um, I got another shop um, I just got through talking to. They said they want me to come back tomorrow and check it out. Uh, so we got to get this stuff knocked out here. Um, sort of quick i'm on the time schedule while i'm here um so i'll be updating y'all tomorrow actually the tomorrow's video i'll be bringing y'all footage of uh t-rex and dropping this off probably in the same video because that's just what it is i ain't gonna break the videos up so i just wanted to come in close this video out with y'all let y'all know what was going on um the guy seems like you know that's 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 their forte that's what they do that guy i know i'm having a power steering issue uh, the alternator bad, and then I got the load. So definitely want to get that. And I also want to get this dashboard wired up. The dashboard is wired up, but it's not reading the gas. It's not reading the check engine light. So I'm going to try to get all of this stuff done before I try to get it painted, which is sort of the right thing to do. Um, I just, I'm going to just get back to it tomorrow. It's been a whole day running around with this, but that's, that's how things is, man. You know what I mean? When you're dealing with these uh, older cars, um, it's not just such easy and sometimes you got to find shops that's going to actually that actually this is what they do not they're doing it for you because sometimes that I'm doing it for you turns into something totally different and that ain't what I'm trying to do I'm trying to knock this out day or two or three you know what I'm saying and uh, get this truck to PC so I'll be tapping back here with y'all shortly man uh, on the next video hit like and subscribe to my video i'm starving i don't have any energy and i'm kind of a little frustrated <laughs> you feel me but it hit different um subscribe to the channel download the mixtapes talking on yang volume one on the road deluxe you know kind of get that out the way um and i, I check in with y'all on the next video tomorrow don't forget august 31st car biking uh uh august 31st box chevy wars car and bike show following day september 1st i'm really like that car and bike show slash fleet wars i'll catch y'all next video man tomorrow blessings thank you for watching Up the safe, they can't ride my way. $20 for the T200 for my chain. But that jewelry on my T, it cost me 60k. Two day run on the road, it felt like 60 days. Soon as I got off that bitch, we ran up 60 blades. Instantly, the prices drop my chain, you know what's up with me. Hating hey, niggas trying to shop, you know you don't fuck with me. Pull up, I take up two spots. That's us in front the club. We how you not, you trash. That's worth the bubba dub. I know, I know, I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I got houses everywhere. Can't no bitch put me in my place. LV on me, GG on me, DD on me, ABC. Four G's on it, candy on it. I love Long overdue, nigga. It's yours truly, the big homie, baby. Tapping all the way in. We talking that yank, Nick. Yo.
Y'all let Illinois to the motherfucking world. Yeah. Now one bike life. Chicago was popping, nigga. Let's get it. A lot of y'all been hitting me up. Wanna know how I've been doing lately? Hey, sugar man. We going down through that, nigga. Don't play with this shit. Don't play with this shit. Don't play with him, nigga. Big box Chevy rider, nigga. Skrrr! A lot of y'all been hitting me up. Wanna know how I've been doing lately? I've been doing great crab legs and snakes still on my plate.